is to get the outcome that we wanted. Uh, you get what you earn in the NFL, and we've earned a one and three record through the first quarter of the season. That's what we are. We're a one and three football team. We've had uh, opportunities. We haven't made the most of those opportunities. We, as a coaching staff and as a team, have to learn from the mistakes that we've made in these first four games and move on and get them corrected. Uh, it's a long season. It's just the end of the first quarter. And uh, we will learn from the mistakes that we've made and uh, move on. With that, I'll open up for questions. Coach, you say you have to learn from the mistakes that you made. Were these new mistakes this game, or were they repeat mistakes from the well, first game? Our, our red zone efficiency was not what we needed it to be again in this ball game. Uh, we're just not executing like we need to in the, uh, in the red zone. Uh, we're moving the ball well between the, between the points, but we're not uh, any of the touchdowns. And we've got, we have got to score touchdowns uh, in this league. It's, a, it's an offensive league, and we've got to score touchdowns. Coach, on the fourth and two, when you went for it, what was the thought behind it, and what was the concept on the play? Well, the concept was that we felt like uh, we had a good play, kind of had an idea of what they were going to be in, and uh, we didn't execute. Uh, we, had, you know, we had an opportunity, we just did not execute. What was going on with Matt today? It seemed like on some pass, he seemed to kind of overthrow it a little bit. Was that just receivers running wrong routes, him overthrowing it? What was going on? Well, guys, when you when you're a football team, there's a lot of factors in it in a play. There's 11 guys that have had to do their job, and there were a number of plays where we did not execute it, and our players did not uh, did not do the things that we needed to do on those specific plays. Uh, until I watch the tape, I'm not going to point to any one player or or any one side of the ball in terms of the outcome of the game. But we've got to be better in the red zone. That's obvious. What do you think is causing this lack of execution? Is it a mental thing? No, I don't believe it's a mental thing. Uh, you know, I wish I could uh, give you, you know, give you a concrete answer. Uh, I can't at this point in time. It's uh, it's poor execution. We've got to we got to look at everything that we do down there, not only uh, from the execution point, but schematically as well. And as I said last week, I'm the one that's responsible for the way that the team plays and. Uh, we're one and three, we've earned it. Smitty, was there any uh, thought behind kicking it deep at 255 with three timeouts and a two minute warning? Uh, there was, but we felt like the way that they had lined up the first time, the way that we have our onside kick set, that we have the numbers at advantage uh, in any situation if they line up a certain way, and we felt very confident. We just didn't execute it, it ended up working out for us. Uh, you know, we, got the, we got the ball back. Uh, but those are all considerations. But the way they lined up on the first uh, onside kick gave us a little insight what we were going to do on the second. Coach, on the on the instant replay that where the machine was broken, with what explanation did they give you besides that, or what was what was your thought process that, that was going on? I know it had to be weird. It was. It was. They came over and said that uh, you know the, the system was down, and they let me know when it was back up. And obviously, it came back up because later in the game there was a. Uh, there was another challenge on the spot. There's lots of yards after the catch today. It's the defense. Uh, how do you clean that up for next week? Uh, well, we've got to make sure that we, uh, when we're playing zone defense, that we are uh, playing with good eyes and good vision. Um, you know, we had uh, a really tough drive there on the third and 21, the conversion on third and 21. Added to that with the, with the uh, penalty, and then we had an explosive run where it was a misfit. I think that really. Uh, was probably uh, the worst sequence for our defense in the ball game. We come in on Tony Gonzalez's play today, and were you frustrated with how some of those last plays went down? Well, I thought Tony had a you know had a career day, had 12, 12 catches um, for 100, almost 150 yards. Uh, you know, Tony was battling his tail off. Uh, you know they were trying to stop him, putting uh, a lot of resources, sometimes two players on him. He was still able to get uh, open. What, what happened on that on that last play, that fourth down, um, the pass to Roddy? Again, until I watch the tape, guys, I'm not going to comment on, on one specific play. We didn't execute it there on fourth down. We had, you know, we had our opportunities uh, on first.
first and second down, <coughs> third down, make uh, plays as well. Okay, guys. Thank you.